everyone. I'm Dr. Wade McKenna here with the Zero Downside podcast. Today, uh, the question is, why take TB500? Or really, what is TB500? How can TB500 help me? What would I take TB500 for? I think all those are valid questions and kind of the same answer for all those. I think that when we talk about comparing and contrasting, and we'll do a whole video on that, I think that TB500 and a lot of the other peptides that are out there and, and being used by a lot of people with, with significant results, and the, there's, there's a little similarity between, the, there's a little overlap on some of the different peptides, and so there's some confusion as, which one should I take for this? Well, there may not be a hard and fast answer for everybody, and it may not be the same. There's significant synergy with TB500 and some of the other peptides that are really commonly used in our practice. TB500, if I just want to think about it, in general terms, I think that the best indication for TB500 is the maintenance of muscle mass. It has a significant cardioprotective effect, immuno, immunoprotective effect. It's been used in sepsis. It has a significant antibacterial, antimicrobial. Uh, the best indication for TB500 historically was in um, HIV patients for, with sarcopenia. And that was one of the first significant uses of, of TB500 because the prevention of sarcopenia or muscle wasting is, is pretty significant and very difficult to maintain that when you are either losing weight on purpose or losing weight on accident. If you're losing weight on accident, sarcopenia, chronic illness, autoimmune dysfunction, you're losing muscle mass anytime you're burning calories. If you're trying to burn selective fat and if your body's fighting disease, it's burning calories, you're gonna lose muscle mass too and you're gonna get muscle wasting. TB500 is a significant change from a peptide standpoint that can give the patient, equip you better to fight back on the musculoskeletal side. It upgrades actin, it decreases fibroblastic differentiation. Uh, it's significant in its effect to protect the cellular differentiation and create an angiogenic effect. So the angiogenesis, the new blood supply, the muscle mass, the reverse of muscle wasting, the addition of muscle, those are all really significant effects that TB500 has a significant pathway to modify your physiologic response. It augments the physiologic response and modifies the disease physiology. So when we talk about augmentation of physiologic function, TB500 has a really valid place in the formation and maintenance of muscle. And when I think of the concomitant use do we think of TB500 as neuroprotective? Yes. Is it used because of some of the cardioprotective side effects? Yes. Is there a significant protocol for post-concussion syndrome because of the elevated neuroplasticity, because of the elevated cognitive changes, because of the, the musculoskeletal effect of TB500? Yes, but it's not used by itself in that realm very often. It is for muscle protective effect used by itself. And people can cycle on TB500 for two and three months at a time and cycle off for six weeks or, or cycle on six, on week, six weeks off. It depends on what your effect is. If you've recently lost a lot of weight, if you're battling the, the weight loss component and you wanna maintain muscle mass and still lose weight, TB500 has been used really effectively in that in the literature, great articles published, and that would be the most common use of TB500. I think of TB500 more on the muscle side. I think of BPC-157 more on the inflammatory pain side, but TB500 has been used in chronic pain syndrome for a really long time and very effectively. And it's associated with kind of a permanent deregulation and, and maintenance of the QT interval from a cardioprotective aspect. So from a neuroleptic standpoint, if you've been on drugs that have damaged your QT interval, TB500 has been really well documented, great papers, 
So I think if we're going to start with TB500, it's about muscle wasting. It's about preventing the sarcopenic effects of either chronic illness or of just working really hard to drop a lot of weight. TB500 also may actually aid you in your weight loss journey by helping you maintain muscle mass. The more active muscle contractile fibers you have, the more calories you can burn. So I think that's probably the down and dirty kind of short list for TB500. There is a significant amount of overlap and concomitant use with some of the other peptides, and I'll kind of give you the compare and contrast in one of the other videos on this playlist. Please remember to comment, like, subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, um, I genuinely appreciate your attention, and hopefully we can get you involved in a maintenance of health program that's kind of simple, easy, and you can kind of understand why it is we do what we do. Thank you so much for your attention.